chemistry last time we stopped at um, separation techniques. We are about to enter what? Separation techniques. And I say one or two things about separation techniques. One thing you need to know is that when we mentioned um, 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 elements, we mentioned atoms, we mentioned compound, we also mentioned what again? Mistures, right? Now, mistures are not chemically combined together in a chemical equation, in a chemical ke chemical bonding. There is no bond between components of a mixture. Because of that, mixtures can be separated into its components using physical words, methods. Now, we, when we are talking about chemical changes and physical changes, we, we talk about physical changes those changes that are what reversible is not that they are not what permanent. Now, the physical changes give birth to what physical properties of a matter, and they is based on the physical properties of the component of a mixture that they can be what separated based on their for what physical what properties. Now, a mixture may contain one or two, two or more different what? Substances, we, 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 we made mention of it. And one thing about them is that each of these substances maintain their individual what? Properties. They do not change, there is no change in properties of each individual, individual component of a mixture. Their properties remain what? The same. Now, because the properties of this individual component is the same thing, we can now exploit this to our advantage to separate them. For example, now, if, if you have um, a mixture of sulfur, a mixture of sulfur, sand, what again, um, iron filings together. Iron filings component in that, present in that mixture, whenever it comes in contact with a magnet, it will do what? It will do what? It will be attracted to a, to, to a, to a what? Magnet. So it retains its property. Even if you get a magnet and place in that mixture, iron filings will leave that mixture and go to the what? Magnet. Have you now seen that we have exploited we have exploited these properties of iron? This magnet, magnetization properties of, of iron. We have, we have exploited it to separate iron filings from that word, mixture. Now, the same thing with, if you get sand and get sugar and mix together, come what may, if you pour water, sugar must dissolve. So sugar will still maintain its property of dissolving in water. So if you pour water in that mixture of sand and, and the salt or sugar, it will dissolve and separate from the what? Sand. Have you now seen that you have exploited the physical what? Property of what? Sugar or what? Or what? Or, um, or salt. In separating it from a mixture of what? Salt and the sand. Now, these are the important things we should note when we are talking about what? Separation what? Techniques. Last time, at a glance, I made a mention of different techniques we use in separating what mixtures. We start from what sieving. We start from what sieving. Then what do we use sieving to do? Sieving is used to, to separate solids of different what sizes. Solids of what? Different what? Sizes. We use sieving to separate solids of what? Different what? Sizes. If you have a sieve, a sieve has some openings inside. Openings. These openings, we call it, we call them the mesh. Mesh, mesh. And 
each seed has its own size. We call them the mesh size of the what? Seed. So each of these sizes we need to separate different what? Sizes of what? Solids. Now, we also have the one we call magnetic separation. We have what? Magnetic what? I made mention of this when I was when I was explaining this when I was talking about um, ion filings. When I was talking about what? Ion filings and sand. You make it that with this ma magnet, you can separate what? You, you can you can separate what? Iron filing from a mixture of iron filing and sand and other things that are not are not attracted to the word magnets. We also have what sublimation. We have what sublimation. What do we use sublimation for? Now you know you know that. When we are, remember when we are talking about physical changes, there are some solids that can change from solid state to what? Gas directly, without passing through what? Liquid air state. You know we have three states of matter, namely solid state, liquid state, and gaseous what? state. Now, matter, when there is change in temperature, they can change from each of these states to another one state. Now, there are some solids that can change directly from solid to what? Gas. This process of changing from solid to gaseous state is called what? Sublimation. Now, something like camphor can undergo this, this change, this, this type of thing. Something like uh, 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 iodine can also undergo this type of what? Are we there? Now, let's continue. Now, you, see that you cannot see that if you have this type of solid in a mixture, once they are exposed to the higher temperature or the atmosphere, they can change on their own, leave that mixture and turn towards gas. You can see that they are the what separated. Am I making sense? Now, let's talk about what? Evaporation. Evaporation. Let's talk about what? Evaporation. Now, what is evaporation? What do you understand by evaporation? Now, sometimes you may have a solution. What is a solution? A solution has what you call the word solvent and what solid, solid, right? In a solution, a substance must be dissolved in a, in a, in, in a solvent to form a what solution. If a substance is not dissolved in a sol in, in a solvent. What will be formed? Suspension will be formed. But for a solution to be formed, the substance must dissolve completely in that solvent to form a what? Solution. Now, for a solution to recover that solute, that solute in that solution, you can use evaporation to do what? Achieve that. You can use what? Evaporation to do what? Achieve that. That means, in evaporation, you need to separate soluble solid from a what? Solution. Evaporation is used to do what? Separate soluble solid from a what? Solution. Are we there? Now, let's talk about crystallization. Let's talk about what? And that one is what? Crystallize what? Crystallization. We also have fractional. Fractional. 
crystallization. We also have what? Precipitation. Do you know why I brought these four together? These four are used to separate solutes. Soluble solute from where? From a what? Solution. You can use this four method to separate, even though they not the same mechanism, but in all, at the end, they are together, can be used to separate what? Solute from a what? Solution. To separate what? Solute from a what? Solution. Now, let's go. Another thing we should note is this. Let us go a bit, look at, look, let, let us look at what? Crystallization. I want to throw more light on crystallization. Now, there are some salts, there are some salts that can be that can decompose easily on heating. Now, there are some salts, if you heat them a bit, they can decompose easily. They are used to, this method can be used to separate salt salt. It can be used to do what? Separate salt that can decompose easily in a work, in a what? With in under what? Heat. And such salt, something like a copper sulfate, copper sulfate tetrahydrate, copper trihydrate, and iron tetrahydrate sulfate, tetrahydrate. We have copper what? Sulfate. Copper sulfate extra what? Hydrate. We have a word again. Separated what in that way. Now, this is a that can be used in sugar industry. The sugar industry and what? And even uh, in pharmaceutical industry. We can use this our this our crystallization. Now, another one I want to talk about is what? Fractional what? Crystallization. Fractional what? Crystallization. Fractional crystallization is used to separate some solutes that are present in the solution in roughly equal what? Amount. Here now there's much what I want to do here. Remember, the watchword in these four processes is the application of work. So we need two of us. Application of what? Solubility. They take advantage of solubility of these substances to do what separate them. Now, fractional crystallization is used to separate two or more solutes that are present in the same in the same solution in almost the same what amount. Now, now the solution of different solutes in the given solvent must differ at different what temperature. During the cooling process of the particular temperature, crystals of the relevant solute will come out of solution, leaving behind the others which are still within the limit of what solubility. 
Now, there is something I want to point out here. Solubility is an important factor in what? Fractional what? Visualization. What it means is that in a, when you have a solution that contains two, com two components that are soluble in, that, in, that, in the solvent, soluble, soluble in the solvent. But the important point to note here is that they are they have different words, solubility. This is a solvent. Two of them are in a solution. These two substances or salt, whatever, are in a solution. For you to fractionally visualize them, what thing you should know is that two of them will be present in a given word, solution, number one. Then, secondly, is that two of them will have different solubilities in this solvent at different what? Different pressure. That means, let's assume that they are heated and you start killing them at a proper temperature. One solution solu will do what? Come out. I'm going to temperature again, and that one will do what? Come out. So two of them must have different solubilities in different, at different temperature, in the same what? Solvent. Does it make sense? Now, let's go to the other one. Precipitation. Precipitation. Of precipitation, precipitates. What do you understand by precipitates? What do you understand by precipitates? Precipitates. Now, let me read something. In precipitation, a difference in the solubility of a solid in two different miscible liquids is used to precipitate the solid when it is dissolved in one of them. For example, iron two sulfate is soluble in water but not in ethanol. Therefore, if but ethanol and water are miscible. Therefore, if you now get ethanol and add to the solution containing water and what? Iron sulfate. What will happen? Iron sulfate will come out. It will take it out from the solution. Now let, let me explain. In precipitation, Water, ethanol. Water and ethanol. If you mix them together, I let me see. You can be shaped. Now, iron surface. Iron surface. Now, you get, if you now get iron sulfate and dissolve it in water, can you separate it to the game? Yeah? You cannot. You need to do what? Separate. But you can separate it by doing what? Adding what? 
ethanol. Once you add ethanol, I ask you what you come out as a precipitate, as solid precipitate. We call it PPT. It will come out as what? PPT. Shock it. Because water and ethanol are visible, but iron sulfate is soluble in water, but is soluble in what? Ethanol. So if you mix them together, eh? if you dissolve iron sulfate in water and you want to separate it, just add ethanol and iron sulfate. Iron sulfate will iron sulfate will do what? Come out. As a what? Precipitate. It will come out as what? Precipitate. This is what they employ. They use this in a qualitative analysis where they talk about identification of what? Component of the what? Salt. Now, let's go. We have talked about evaporation. We have talked about crystallization. We have talked about fractional crystallization. We have talked about what? Precipitation. Precipitation. Can I clean? Precipitation. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about clarification. 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 On the clarification now, we talk about what? Tell me. Equation. Let's start from the less. We talk about what? Decantation. Decantation. and what? Migration. They are grouped under what? You know why? They are used to separate this solution from water. From the water. From the water. I need to separate this solution from the other from what? I need to separate this solution from the other from what? I need to separate this solution from the other from what? For now, let us keep them one after the other. From the time to clear a liquid, listen, to clear clarity. Clarity. Clarification. To clear. To make it work, clear, clarity. To achieve that, you need to work, you can take short, simplification, or what? Simplification. Two of us, two. Now, you can take short. You have been doing the cathedral in your house. And I believe you did it this morning. Before you came out, two of us, 
Now, let's talk about what? Translation. Now, listen. A mixture containing a liquid. Remember, our reference textbook is New School Chemistry for Senior Secondary School by Ose Young Ababi. Please get it. It's a very good textbook. New School Chemistry, that's our reference book for today. Most of the things I'm talking about come from there, after which I'll break it down for you to understand. Our reference book is New School Chemistry. So let's continue. In the temptation, we have that we are a mixture containing a liquid and a solid particles separate into two distinct layers on standard. A lower solid layer and an upper word, clear word, liquid layer. Using a glass rod, the upper layer of the clear liquid can be what? Carefully poured out or decanted into a what? A second what? Container. This is a quick but inaccurate what? Method of what? Separating components of a mixture. Now, clarification, we can use these three mechanisms or three processes in clarification. The one the, the fastest is what? Incantation. But from what we read here now, incantation is not that word wonderful. It's not that accurate because as we are trying to, okay, let me now let me explain the incantation. Let's assume now you have you go to your drum to or you, you get water from your drum to bait. See a lot of particles inside that water. What are you going to do? You keep it. See? You keep it to do what? Rest. If it rests, the solid particles will go, go down and the clear liquid will be on the top. How do you get that clear liquid? You decant. You carefully tilt it. You get another container, right? You get, you, you get a second what? Let me get water. The second word, this is the one with the, the one which you allow to do what? Settle. The upper part contains the clear words, liquid. The other one contains the words, particle. So if you allow it to settle down, right, then you get the second container and tilt this slowly, gently. You can place something, okay? depending on the size of what you are doing. The normal one you are doing in your house. You don't need grass cut. Gradually, this upper one will be going what? That You have separated them, right? But sometimes, if you're not careful, some particles here may enter, small may enter. That's why we say that it's not that what? Accurate. Because some particles may do what? Enter. That's why we say that it's not that what? Accurate. Because some particles will do what? Enter. It's not that accurate because some particles will do what? Enter. Now, that is what? Decantation. But decantation can help. Do you know why I say it can help? It can help to reduce the load of insoluble particles. If you decant, at least this one with small particles, you can now proceed to other ones. You can proceed to either simplification or what? Iteration. Because if the particle there is big, big stone, big pieces, you cannot go to filtration strength. You can, because those stones can destroy the filter paper. Depending on the, the, the filter medium you are using. If what you are using is filter paper, those stones can destroy, can tear the filter paper because of their weight. So the calculation still helps. The first level of first level of separation, you can remove those big particles. Small particles that enter the air, you can from here proceed towards filtration. 
how close to what simplification. Depending on what you want to do, what achieve. True or false? Now, let's go to what filtration. No, no, no. Let's go to what centrifugation. Let's go back to our reference book again. Centrifugation. That's a machine we call a what? A centrifuge. We call a what? Centrifuge is used to carry out what? Centrifugation. Centrifuge is used to do what? Carry out what? Centrifugation. Centrifuge. Centrifuge is used to do what? Carry out what? Centrifugation. Now let's go. A centrifuge is a machine which can be spin, which can spin test tubes containing suspension or at high watt speeds. Remember what I told you? Remember here? Remember? This is insoluble clarification. This three method under clarification are used to separate insoluble solid from what? Liquid. So that means it is not a solution. It's a what? Suspension. Note this important point. When crystallization, fractional crystallization, when evaporation, crystallization, fractional crystallization, and the precipitation are used for what? Soluble solid from what? Solution. True or false? That is the solution. But clarification, which is decantation, centrifugation, filtration, is not for what? Solution. It's for suspension. Know that point too. Know the what? Differences. I'm coming. Know the what? Differences. Know the what? Differences. Very important. So this is clarification is for what? Suspension. Where crystallization, fractional crystallization, evaporation, and the precipitation are for what? Solution. Very important. Now let's continue. Now, centrif a centrifuge is a machine which can spin test tube containing suspension at high what speed. The spinning causes heavier solid particles in the suspension to be thrown to the what? Bottom. Are you there? Bottom of the what? Test tube. They settle there. Why the clear liquid separates out as the upper what? Layer. Which can easily be what? Decanted. Which can easily be what? Decanted. So after certification, you can also do what? Decant. After the cat, you can filter where? Does it make sense? No. 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 Sure you know, eh? Like now. After certification. Now, no, no, let me after let, after explaining the certification, you you have to, you 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 will understand it. Now, centrifugation is often used when there is only a small amount of what material. In hospitals, blood samples are centrifuge to separate blood cells from what plasma. And, but you should know something. When the test of material is placed in a centrifuge, it will be counterbalanced by a similar tube containing about the same amount of what water. Now, now let me explain something. Let me explain something quickly. Can I get it here? Yeah. Now, there is something I want to explain. If you have... In the hospital, they collect you have blood in lab. Have you ever gone for lab test yes. in the lab? What do they do? Mm -hmm. They collect the blood. Where, are, where do they put the blood? There's a small tube, shape. Yes. They put the, the blood, shape, mm -hmm. and cover it and put your name there or your number. 
so that they will not mix it up with another people's what? Blood. After blood contains, there's a part of the blood we call what? Cell, blood cells. Or erythrocytes. Erythro what? So erythrocytes, not erythrocytes. Erythro what? Sites or red blood cells. Cells. That's the part we call the what? Plasma. Either. Either. Or the saving. Better saving, as the case may be. Now, the plasma, the cells is suspended in these liquid components of the of the blood. Either. Now, when they, if they, they want to, depending on the test they want to carry out, maybe they, they, they want to check the number you have count the percentage, percentage of your blood cells, depending on what they want to do. But they will decant it, they will, they will, they will centrifuge it, not decant. Centrifugation, in, 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 in most of the centrifuge, you can have different tests to align in circular pattern like this. Are there? Align in what? Circular what? And I'm like this. Something is hold them like this. Inside the machine. They will spin it. They will turn. It will turn it. Spin it. Spin it. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. I didn't mean that's, that, 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 that. I will show you a, a video, YouTube video of, say, of how centrifuge. You can browse it. You can go to YouTube. Search centrif centrif centrifuge. You see how it works. Do it today and get back to me. Now, it will spin as it's turning. What will happen is this. That blood, the solid part of it, it may be blood, it may be anything. The solid, the solid part of it will, the same way as if, if you keep some, if you keep a suspension, the solid part, part the particles will, will, will settle at the, at the bottom. The same way, if different turns, this, this particles will, will settle at the bottom of the world, place two. Where the clear liquid will be at the world, top. Are you there? So to get this liquid pass, you can now decant it, tilt it, and pour it somewhere else. If this is what you are looking for, you can use it to do what you want to do. If this is what you are looking for, you can use, use, use it to do what you want to do. What? Do. But there are something I, I read out now that in a centrifuge, if this if this tube contains the sample you are working on, place another test tube that contains only water or something like that. That contains only what? Water. That contains only what? Water. This if this if the quantity the quantity here is too mil of the sample in this one. The sample you, you want to separate, see? Yeah? The water in the one opposite it should also be what? Julie. If this one is what? Sample. What other water should be here? The same thing, other, other water should be here. Why is that the two? They is, is used to do what? Counter what? Balance it. To counter what? Balance it. Now let's go to what? After centrifugation now, Let's do the words. Let's do the words. Filtration. Let's do the Filtration. Let's do the words. Filtration. After filtration, we call it a day. So you can go. It's getting late. Are you there? Yes. So, filtration. Filtration is no longer a new term, right? Yes. The normal simple filtration we do in the lab is where we use what? Funnel, right? Dish may be test tube or whatever it may be. We have like filter paper. Filter paper is like this. You fold it with the ball like this. Shape. Yes. Then fold it again, right? And open it. It will, it will, it will look like this. Two of us. You carry it and put it here. Share. Yes. Do you feel that solution? No. Why? If you feel that solution, nothing will come out. You cannot, everything will do what? Pass. Two of us. The solution now. Like that, if you get salt and put the water, you dissolve. You will say you, you want to filter salt. You cannot work. 
except evaporate it. If you eat it, water will go. You cannot get the salt. But if you pour it here, everything will go down. You, can, you, you cannot see anything here. Three of us. That's why you cannot, this is used for what? Insoluble what? Solid in what? A liquid. Now, if this contains insoluble solid in a liquid, you pour it here. You pour it here. You pour it here. The liquid will do what? Enter here. You have a clear water here. Clear liquid here. But here, but here you have what? You have what? The solid particles here. And if 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 it keeps piling up, if you form what you call what? Cake. But let not let us not go that level for now. So this is what we refer to as what? Filtration. This is what we refer to as what? Filtration. Does it make sense? Yes. Now, have you now seen why I told you that, why we say that we can classify decantation, filtration, and sanctification under what? Clarification. Do you not understand it? Yes. Because they tend to do what? Clear, to obtain a clear what? A clear liquid, no solution, please. A clear what? The condition is clearing. The condition is also clearing. And what we get here in filtration is called what? Feel traits. Three of us. Sanctification is also the to do what? Clear. Right? So, any question? If you have any question, ask. All right, in the absence of any question, we'll call it a day. We'll start from here tomorrow. Thank you for watching our online lectures. For lecture updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. The name is Susan Limited. Just click on the red button and click on the bell by the side so that you'll be among the first people to receive notification whenever we upload a new video. Please like and follow us on Facebook. The name is Susan Limited. If you have any question, please connect with us on WhatsApp. These are our WhatsApp numbers. Please visit our website. The address is SusanLimited.com. You have a lot to learn. Please share this video, like and comment. Thank you for your support. God bless you. Admission. 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 Dear ladies and gentlemen, I bring good news. Admission into the diocese on the Niger School of Pharmacy Technician EENU Mission Hospital is on. The School of Pharmacy Technician PHT, is an accredited tertiary institution that offers students a diploma degree to work in hospitals and pharmaceutical companies in order to promote safe and effective use of medicines at grassroots level. Graduates of Pharmacy Technician School EENU who wish to study pharmacy in the university can obtain direct entry into any university of their choice. The school has a well-equipped laboratory, comfortable hostel, and a healthy refectory. The requirements for admission are credit in English, mathematics, biology, chemistry and physics. In GCE, WAEC, NECO. NABTEB are not more than two sittings. The School of Pharmacy Technician PHT, is located at EENU Mission Hospital, Agidi, Anambra State. For more information, call 0803 708 1512, 0813 868 2003, 0803 267 5322. Diocese on the Niger School of Pharmacy Technician. A tradition of excellence.